we doing, guys? So tonight, uh, we're going to do something different. Okay, well, we're gonna, we have a new product we're going to try. And uh, I'm really, really, really excited to try this one. Uh, you guys know I live in South Florida. And I use a lot of this color down here. A lot. Uh, for various things. And, uh, well, let me just show you here. Let's Resin so kindly sent me some of their new products. I'm sure you all have seen. I have the white epoxy resin, already tinted white. I have the already tinted black epoxy resin that June had sent me. And, uh, we now have turquoise. And do you see this, guys? To me, this looks transparent. Okay, not completely, but it looks, okay, it lo looks translucent. Uh, yeah. So, I am super, super excited for this, guys. Super excited. And, uh, sorry, I'm going to move the box here. So, what I want to do is, uh, I'm going to do my little snail. And I was going to paint his shell in all the way. But I really just want to showcase him with this. I want to see what this looks like kind of on its own. I did do just a little bit around this part of the shell. And I did it with Litz Resin's blue uh, teal chameleon powder. So I did teal chameleon powder by Let's Resin just on this circle part right here only. Because like I said, I want to see what the resin does on its own. So, I'm going to mix up some resin here. We will come back. We're going to pour it. Uh, and we're going to see how it turns out. I'm excited for this. I really am. So, I'm going to mix up the resin and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. We are back. So, can you see this color? It's beautiful. Now, I did stir it by hand. I did not use my stirrer. The one I have is... I don't have a really good stirrer. I have one that... It's okay. But, uh... So, I just used... I stirred it by hand. Now, the only thing I'm going to put in this... I do want to put just a teeny, tiny, tiny bit of this diamond dust in here. So, that's it right there. I'm going to stir that in. We are going to stir this in. So pretty. It is a translucent, transparent. Uh, you know, it's not opaque like the black or the white. It's actually a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful turquoise color. So, let's bring this over here. And we're just going to kind of pour it from up high. So if we have any bubbles, yeah. I hate that when the cups do that. I hate it. There we go. This is just gorgeous. Now, I did not mix near enough. So 
So I'm going to mix some more resin up and I will top this off and then we'll be back when it's time for demolding. I'm going to see how this turned out. Be back in a little bit, guys. Bye. We're back. So I have a little bit of resin left over here. And what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of res Let's Resin pigment to it to see if I can darken it just a hair. Because I'm going to pour it in this turtle and it's really light because the turtle's the turtle is shallow. So, I want to add a little bit of this aqua. Well, am I out? Oh, yep, I guess I'm out. All right, let me grab a different color here. Let me grab a different color. Okay, so we got a different color here. We have sapphire blue. I'm going to put a couple drops of sapphire in here to try to darken it just a hair. Let's do one, two. We'll do two to start with here and see what we get. I, I usually my favorites normally the black I like the black resin it's already dyed black it's a beautiful rich black and uh, it's just easy so I don't have to do a whole lot with it but this is beautiful but I want to see if we can make it different shades of blue if we can change the shade to a deeper shade clearly that's different a different color than what we had before all right so I did pour some already in here and that's when I realized how light it was in here so we are gonna pour some in here Finish topping it off. Alright. That's pretty. Now we're going to grab, grab a mold here. And we'll just use it. We'll pour a few of these little fun things. So I have this mold here. I'm going to move this out of the way. We're just going to spray. And let's do the turtle. We'll do the turtle here. Now see, I think that's, that died beautifully. Honestly, what a pretty color. Hmm. Very interesting. So I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a shell here. And how about a fish? Okay. 
Okay, so clearly we have changed the color of the resin. It's still translucent, but now it's a different shade of blue. So you can change the color. Like I said, I never went on to change the black, so I've never had a reason to add anything to it in the white. Um, I mean, if you add something to the white, you're going to get a pastel color, so that's pretty much a given, but I wanted to see with this being translucent, if it would transparent, if this would if we could dye it, and of course I use Let's Resin, but I'm sure you could use any alcohol ink, and it's going to work but I figured we're doing Let's Resin, let's just use Let's Resin products since I have them to use there we go all right, we'll come back when it's time to demold these and see what we got, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. We are back for demolding. We love demolding time, right? That's the favorite time ever. When you pour resin, this is the favorite time right here. All right, so recap. Let's resin. New beautiful turquoise resin. And uh, the only thing I did, I took just a tiny, tiny bit of chameleon powder and I put it right around this part of the shell. That's it. Because I wanted to be able to see. Oh, and I put just a tiny bit of diamond dust in here. Because I want to see what it does just on its own. What it looks like if you pour it straight out the bottle. This is what it's going to look like. Then I decided I was going to try adding some blue color to it. So we added some sapphire blue to it. And we kind of turned it a azure blue, maybe? Sky blue? We'll unmold those in just a minute and see how those turned out. So for now, we're going to take out our little... Take him out here. We're going to move these out of the way. Take our snail out. May have to bring this up to me to get it out. Because he's a little tricky to get out. Alright, I'm going to bring him up here to me. Almost got him. We almost got him here, guys. Alright. Alright. Let's see if we get our little, we got all our horns intact here. Let's see. Well, we got that one. That one's intact. That one's intact. Then that one's intact. Hey, we got all four horns intact, guys. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Wow. Look at this gorgeous color. Holy smokes. And see the blue chameleon was perfect. The teal chameleon was perfect with it. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. With that sparkle in it. Oh my gosh, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow. All right. That's gorgeous. All right. Now let's take this out. This is a little uh, turtle mold from Into Resin. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at the sparkle. Wow. Very pretty. You hear Cosmo? He's in the other room. He's in Cody's room. And Cody's not home. So, I gotta make sure you don't try to come in here. Get back right now. Go on. You get down. Hang on. I gotta make sure he gets in the other room. I don't let him in here. Okay, well, so far so good. <laughs> he likes to try to 
nope, he's coming back. I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, he's being honorary. Actually, he just wants to be where I'm at, but I didn't put him in his cage, so he's in Cody's room. And Cody's room and my art room are separated by like a three-quarter wall. And, uh, yeah, Cosmo being a kitty, he's trying to come over the wall. He's trying to escape the wall. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's demold these now. Beautiful, look at that. That is so pretty. Like I said, that is the turquoise resin and sapphire blue alcohol ink mixed together to change the color because I wanted to see if we can change it to a different shade of blue. And I'm sure if you had green, you could make it even more turquoisey. Cosmo, get back in the other room. Go on. Cosmo, go. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want him out here. I got too much he can get into. Being a kitten. He could get in too much trouble. Isn't that pretty? I love that fish. And the little turtle. Alright guys, so this is the new Lutz resin, turquoise resin. Let me know what you think of it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's nice. It's great for convenience. So... All right, guys. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Hope your resin cure is beautiful. Your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.